Okay, we're going to get another one of these in before my voice goes. Hopefully, actually, hopefully I get them all done today because I only got one done, one of these map reviews done yesterday. Uh, this is the um, Hammerfall Griffball Court Contest. Um, technical reviews. This map is Serpent's Temple by Extra Spicy Memes and General Pug. This is a, a, their second, I think, of, of three maps they've submitted. Um, first things first, you spelt layer wrong in your Griff Ball submission. Points off for that. No, that's fine. Just you spelt layer wrong. Not a big deal. Uh, <laughs> as I say, I don't care. It, the description is, once you gaze into his eyes, your heart will be filled with fear. A Griff Ball, oh, Griff Ball is capitalized, map located, and it should be Griff Ball Court located within the layer of a deadly serpent. And as I said, layer spelt wrong. Um, if you're adding that um, description to the map itself, yeah, Griff Ball is always capitalized. And the way we do it is if we're referring to Forge, it's a Griff Ball map. If we're referring to playing on it, it's a Griff Ball Court. Okay, there's a, quite a bit of difference there in that uh, uh, to a player, they want to play in a court, not on a map. To a forger, they want to forge on a map, not on a court. Okay, you get that? There, there's just a slight difference. So when you're referring to it, it's always Griff Ball Court because you're you're targeting the players in the description, not the builders. Anyhow, minor technical detail does not matter for the contest. Uh, okay, first of all, your spawns are a wee bit close together, and they're like a billimeter apart. <laughs> okay. So give them a little bit, more, little bit more room uh, separation, uh, as, as well as these these man cannons. Just just a little bit more room between them. You just want to give the players a little bit more shoulder room when they're spawning. And sometimes spawns, if they're too close to other spawns, you don't spawn there, and you'll spawn on the court instead. Um, something in the ceiling here. Oh, I see your your ceiling is uh, there's an angle to it here. Let me just see if I highlight it. Let me just pull it off here. You see what I mean? You see that it's on that angle. The ceiling is, you might be crowding the players. Okay. So I I would um, do something about that. Uh, maybe just reduce the angle a little bit. Uh, whatever you have to do. But um, when it was in place, I'm not exactly sure where the place was. But when I, when I was on standing on the spawn... Okay, I can stand on the spawn. It's not too bad. See, so yeah, I that just proves that I can stand on it. But when I stand on it, oh, it should oh, right. <laughs> that doesn't do it now. <coughs> Excuse me, it doesn't do it now, but earlier when I did it, I jumped, I hit my head on the ceiling. So make sure that when you place your starting spawns, make sure you can jump fully without hitting them. And that will that just ensures that the game doesn't crowd your spawns and spawn players on the field instead of on the where you intend to have them spawn. So make sure that they have plenty of headroom in their spawn area. Alright, so uh, let's just get flung out onto the court and see what we have here. Oh, we have a moat. Isn't that special? We got a moat. Uh, we got a dragon. We got fire. We got more dragon. We have an octagon shaped court. I haven't seen an octagon shaped court in a long time. Uh, one of my Halo 3 courts in the crypt was an octagon shape. Uh, but it was like four times the volume of this one because it was made for a faster version of Griff Ball. Uh, uh, the low gravity Griff Ball actually. Anyhow, that's 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 ancient history. Uh, okay, so oh, nice open top, bit of a, a bridge up there. Okay, this uh, looks good. So let's uh, let's make sure it plays as well as it looks. Okay, so we have our the players come in here. I believe. Blocker one way, team pass, and it's set to defend. It's weird. I just I, I expected to see it red, but it's not. It's just it's just not. It just maybe it's the lighting in here, but that that should be showing up as red on my screen, but it's not. That's not your problem. It's just the way it must be. The light was shining on because the blue one definitely shows as blue. Okay, so that's not a problem. 
that that's good that's uh well blocked you're um well contained the ceiling's nice and even the walls match the the shape of the walls on the floor the octagon shape perfectly um the the spawns let's look at the spawns yeah the spawns are they're they're embedded in the floor okay so what i would do is uh in this case is i was just i would just make sure you can grab one yeah you can oh can you no everything's embedded in the floor so you see i can't even grab them um so what i could do is first of all your floor i just want to check something it's okay your floors are unlocked okay that's good uh so i i, I i'm taking it that you have the prefab okay the uh the griff ball prefab yeah you do so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna grab the prefab and i'm gonna set the z coordinate up one unit okay until the spawns you see because it's still all grouped together until the spawns are on top of the floor rather than buried in the floor okay now those can go back down if you still want these to be buried a little deeper you can do that yet so once once they're at a, a good height you can actually just ungroup them all okay so what I'm doing is I'm ungrouping them and I do this for a lot of courts uh, I've showed you this probably if you've been watching these the series uh, I do this on quite a few um, <clears throat> what I'm doing is I'm making the, the, the spawns exactly match your floor so I'm taking the the two initial two initial spawn points that are on the floor and I don't know if you can see that but I'm gonna just raise them up just by changing their Z coordinate I'm just gonna raise them up and just to get them out of the way now the the respawns you do a select all of and you see there's 12 of them there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise them up one more, raise them up one more unit, and then all at the same time I'm going to set them all to normal physics and let them go. And you see they popped up even a little bit higher. So what that indicated is that they were, even though I raised them up, they were still slightly, slightly embedded in the invisible blocker of your floor. But what I've done is I changed them all to normal physics, and so what they've done is they're all popped up and they're all sitting on the floor. <coughs> Okay, so the most important thing is once you do that, you select them again, Object Properties, select all of, and then you're going to change them back to Phased Physics and let them go. You're done. Okay, so that, that moved your spawn so that they're sitting on your floor. Uh, by, by changing them to Normal Physics, that made them so that they sit on the floor. And then you change them back to phase physics so that people don't hammer around your spawns. Because if it's set to normal physics, you can actually hammer a spawn and it will move. Okay? Uh, so just put these back on. You just turn your magnets on and snap them back down into place. And your spawns are now perfect. Look at that. Spawns are done. So you can just save it when you hit that. If you want to lower these back into the floor so that they don't bump when players run over them, that's fine. Same deal. You just do... So object select all of and there's two of them and you just change you just make their position lower until just either that just that little ring showing or one unit below and that's perfectly acceptable to have these slightly below your floor and that way players don't trip over them so they're nice and smooth you can do the same with the bomb spawn obviously um, it's not as bad yeah, you see, there is a little bit of a bump there. Uh, I'm not too concerned about that one bump on the floor. Griff ball players are used to the ball pick up being having a bump on it, but you do have the option of submerging it if you wish. So it looks exactly the same, but there's no bumps for your players. And uh, nice well, by the way. Next concern is fire, and I think you're well away from the zones with your fire. Yeah, you see. This is, it's hard to see in this mode here, but uh, that's as close as you can get to the fire, and that's well, well away from the fire. You don't have to really concern about players burning themselves, but it's still good to check because uh, there's no shields in Griff Ball, so the slightest touch of the flame will set a player on fire. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Just the slightest touch of a flame, and the player dies because the players are extremely weak in Griff Ball. 
uh, by design. I think that's it for this. Um, very, very minor changes. Um, I can't really see anything else. There's no purchase to worry about. Uh, maybe a bit of frame rate. There's in forge mode, but... Oh, yeet. Mm. There is a very, very minute amount of, for, of uh, frame rate looking from red side to blue. I'm assuming blue side to red as well because they look to be the same. Yeah, just... I would say that's probably the smallest amount of frame rate I've seen without... Uh, you know, it just... Very, very, I don't think so you can see it in the video, I'm not sure, because I don't know if the video's smooth. But here, I'll just go real slow, maybe you will be able to see it in the video. I'm seeing it in the preview screen, but I don't know if you can actually see it. Anyhow, a little bit of frame rate there, and as by little, I mean very little. I believe you just need to simplify your design, find some of the smaller pieces and, and see what you can do uh, and what I would do I, as I always I always say this is is make just do a save as on your map and just start ripping stuff out until your frame rate goes away and then put the stuff back in and rip something else out to see if that helps you th with your frame rate uh, so the main thing is you got to figure out what's causing the frame rate issue first and if it's your piece count you might just have to reduce the piece count you might just have to you might just have to give this guy a couple fewer teeth. You know, you might be able to just simplify things just slightly. It, I was going to say it could be the waterfall, but I looked at Odyssey yesterday that has three major waterfalls on it, I believe. And I took the waterfalls out and it didn't improve the frame rate. So I, so I, re, so I loaded up the map again. And I went into his, he had a structure in it that was much less complex than this. And I tore a quarter of the structure off and his frame rate was solid once I did that. So I, I don't believe it's the waterfall effect. I, I think it's something else. So whether it's your flame or the instruct or the, the structure around it, just maybe just simplify your design a bit by five or six pieces of the big pieces or maybe 10 or 12 of the small pieces. Uh, yeah, just try to simplify it figure out where that frame rate's coming from and take those pieces out or swap them out for other pieces that don't cause frame rate but it's so minor i really don't think you'll have a hard time um, <clears throat> figuring out what it is that's causing it uh, but as i say just make multiple multiple saves in the maps and in each one just rip out something different un until your frame rate goes away and the best way to tell what happened here oh i thought it was the edge of the map that's the edge of the map and the best way to to, re to take check for frame rate is you, you draw a path that's in an arc from one of your corners like where I'm aiming here and you follow that path and then you also sweep your controller left to right along the same path so that you're moving your feet and your hands at the same time and then frame rate is and if you do it really slowly then your frame rate is really really noticeable you'll notice the the dropouts as you sweep across there so figure out what that is and get your update in and uh, and hopefully, oh, you definitely have time to fix that. Uh, and otherwise, nice job. Um, almost everything else in the map is fine other than the spawns, as I said. So uh, let me know when you update that. And you've been through this before. You know how to do that. So, all right. Good job.